happy Monday. I'm Jenny. Welcome to my channel where we focus on using ordinary materials to make beautiful things. It's another Motivational Monday. Yay! Um, and today's quote, uh, let me grab it here and pull it in, is don't wait for someone to bring you flowers. Plant your own garden. And so we're going to do a flower layout. Um, and I kind of thought of that because when I opened this to see the page that we have to work with today, um, it's got a flower here that's going to show through for next week. So this will be next week's layout and we might do something with, with all of that. Um, and then we have this left over from last week. Remember we covered the page and flipped it because last week we did some butterflies and we had that journaling card. And so this week we have some yellow and some pink and some green. It just looked very floral to me. Um, it's late February today. Uh, it's February 21st when I'm filming this. So this will show next week on February 28th. Um, so the end of February and here in the Valley of the Sun, that's spring. So uh, over the weekend, Lochinvar and I went to an art fair and it was held outdoors in a park and it was very sunny and it felt very springy uh, and lovely. We had a picnic and then we went to a big antique place. It was really great. Um, so I'm excited to do a floral layout. Flowers are one of my favorite things to put in a layout to collage with. But before we do that, I do have an idea I would like to put the quote, instead of just writing it, I would like to put it on several cards and attach it with a brad so that you pull the cards down to see the quote. So that's, that's my thought is I'll hole punch it and put the brad here and then get my hand out of the way. And then you would, you would rotate the cards out and down to see it and they would live right here um, when, when it's not being looked at. So I thought that would be fun. It would be like a little, a new element, some kind of movement. Um, and so I thought that would be, that would be a fun thing to do. So before we can do anything really with those, I think we need to put some color or something on them. These are just like index cards that are, you would just write on there. They have rounded corners. Um, I don't know, they came in a big box. I, you know, not even really sure what they're specifically supposed to be for. Maybe they're um, blank playing card size kind of things so that you can make your own cards. Uh, I might have had them uh, for years and years and years from, from uh, being a teacher and having materials that I prepped. So I'm just gonna move the book out of the way for a minute and we're gonna throw some um, paint on here. So that has a chance to dry while we're doing the rest of it. Now I am using um, Art Philosophy Metallic Semi Watercolors. Uh, I love this paint. It's it's a little more opaque than than regular um, watercolor paint. Oops, stuck that in there. Oops. Oh my gosh. Uh, but I'm just going to throw down some color. I really don't want pictures or anything on here because we're going to be writing over the top. Um, we should be able to write over the top with Sharpie. I, I picked out a, a hot pink one and a black one. We have a lot of pink and yellow and green going on. I'm Initially, I picked the pink one, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to want the black because it'll just show up better. So my thought was we would just throw some pink and maybe some green and some yellow down on these three little cards. And I'm just gonna kinda swash it around because I'm just gonna set them aside to let them dry. Um, and I just I just don't want them to be plain is, is really all there is to it. Uh, and this is, this is watercolor, it'll all kinda run together. And, and that's okay, I don't, I don't care. If it mixes, see, I just dumped it in there with the yellow and it's gonna be a little, maybe a little orangey, but that's okay. So I am feeling good on this Monday. I hope you are too. 
um, like many of you, I'm sure, uh, I don't I don't tend to sleep very well. And last night I got a really good night's sleep. Um, my husband is off work today because it's President's Day, so the alarm didn't go off at five o'clock this morning, and so. That means we both got to sleep late. And so I have a good deal of energy and I'm feeling good. It's, I slept, I slept like 10 hours, which is a lot for me. I never sleep more than about five usually. So, but I had read somewhere that you can actually catch up on sleep. So if you're, if you're running behind on your sleep and you sleep, a, you know, one or two nights a really good night's sleep that your body can actually catch up a little bit which you know you wouldn't think maybe but I'm gonna spray that because I'm just kind of gonna move it around a little bit so I can kind of get a marbly effect I don't know if you guys can see that or not I just hit it with some water and it's all kind of running together. So that's really all I want is some color. And I just kind of want it to run together. So we're going to set that one aside. Hopefully these will flatten back out a little bit. A lot of times when you get paper things wet, they curl up. Um, so you can always fix that by putting it under a stack of books once it's dry or if you don't have paint on it, if it's just wet from glue or something like that, um, put, put a little, I uh, can't even think of what it's called, um, like wax paper or parchment paper is good. Um, something that the glue won't stick to. And then you can put it under the books while it's still wet. Now, if you've got paint, obviously you can't do that. You have to wait for the paint to dry. But certainly, see that's gonna be kinda marbly looking when it's done. And that's really all I want is I just kinda want, just want some of that color moving around. So those all look a little bit different. Okay, I will clean that up in a few minutes when I'm done. Okay, so I'll set our quote over there. Don't wait for someone to bring you flowers. Plant your own garden. When I came across this quote, 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 when I came across this quote, I really loved it uh, because I think a lot of times we do sit around and wait for people to do something we're waiting for someone else to start something or to help us or to uh, i don't know encourage us or whatever and really we just have to we just have to do it ourselves so if we plant our own garden if we're our own cheering section um, if we're our own motivator then we can you know we can move on and we don't have to wait for other people um, I have I have made that mistake in the past and and it's not the other person's fault if they don't do necessarily what I want them to do because they may not realize how much I want them to do it. Um, so rather than waiting for someone else to figure out how to do something, uh, I'm you know I just decided several years ago that I just I wasn't gonna wait on people anymore. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do what I want. And if that means there's a learning curve, if it means it takes me longer, whatever, because I'm I'm still ahead of, if I hadn't started at all, if I were sitting there waiting, even if it takes me longer, because I have to figure it out, because I have to learn how to do it, because I have to watch a bazillion videos, because I have to, you know, understand the computer program, because whatever, um, I'm still ahead of where I was if I was waiting for somebody to do it for me, because they may or may not ever do it. Okay, so I've been contemplating that quote and I've been thinking about it. Um, before we start here, I thought we would collage some flowers and that we would put the quote over here. I showed you I was gonna put that little, the little cards here. Got some white here we might wanna deal with. 
But I have a couple of, of my paper doll ladies that look like flower ladies that I wanted to audition. And so I like her because she kind of echoes the pink here. But she is a little big, although the cards are going to be here. So they would, they would maybe be behind her or in front of her, probably in front of her a little bit. Um, so that might, that she might take up a little bit of room, but I really liked her. I'm not, <laughs> I love the look on her face because the look on her face is almost like, really, you messing with me? And then she's all this pink flowery. So I like the juxtaposition of that kind of, <laughs> you think, look with, with the flowers. Uh, then there's this one. And I thought this one was funny. Um, and I think this one's funny. She's much smaller, so she would fit on the page better with the with the cards. But I think this one's funny because she looks to me like, since she's holding these flowers here, she almost looks like she's like a little fairy godmother who's about to whack you with her flower wand. <laughs> so I, I don't know. Um, I like the yellow. I like how the other, the pink one is there, but, it, but it's a little big, I think, with the cards. The cards would fit better with this one, so... Maybe that's the one we ought to go with. Oh, that's pretty, too, with the green on there. Oh. Um, so maybe we should go with this one. Um, but she's, you know, she's very smiling at the camera. I, I like the, the look on the other one's face, but she's maybe a little big. But I definitely like this. And I like it. I, I do feel like she's about to whack me with her little wand there. Um, let me grab some washi tape. And we will cover up that edge. I didn't grab the washi tape. I have a bunch of flowers that I cut. Um, but let's see. We need some washi tape. Uh, I know. Don't look at my bin. It's kind of a mess. All right. Let's set those over there. Those are the stickers we made. What kind of washi tape do we have? There's something with pink and yellow in it. There's a stripe. I might go. There's a plaid. Some birds. Um, the pineapples are fun. Right. I like the colors with the pineapple. So maybe maybe we don't care if it's pineapple. Right. This one's pretty. It's got some birds and it's got some yellow and blue and green. What do you think? I like the pineapple. So okay. I'm, I'm trying really hard not to overthink things today. I'm having a good day, and when I start overthinking, I start thinking, oh, what am I doing? And why am I doing this? And what do you think? Should we just, yeah, maybe we don't want to wrap it. Maybe we just want to cover that edge. We'll just kind of make a little frame. Make a little frame. We won't, uh, we won't put the pineapples on the other side. My little trash bin here. I finally got smart and pulled an old box to put all the stuff, that all my trash, because I keep leaving it on the table. And then when I'm done with things, I have to try to pick up all the little pieces off the table. So I wised up and got a little bin. All right. I don't know why sometimes the simplest things take us a while to figure out. This way, this way, maybe. Does it matter? Not really. Um, I don't know. Do you guys do that? Do you think sometimes it's <laughs> the little, the really simple things? Sometimes just suddenly you're like, why didn't I think of that before? Why didn't I just pull a little box? to put the trash in to start with. I, I just don't know. I just don't know why I didn't do it. But I didn't, but I did now, so. Sometimes I think it's funny what the little things that make our lives easier that just don't even occur to us. Right. Like planting our own flowers instead of waiting for someone else. I don't know that that makes our lives easier. Maybe in the long run. I think in the long run, it probably makes our lives easier. In the short run, it might be harder um, because 
you have to take responsibility and do it yourself and figure it out and that kind of stuff. But in the long run, not having to wait for someone else to save us or do it for us or whatever is always better. Uh, I was out a couple weeks ago and I saw, you know, they have those signs, the wooden signs that have everything on them, which I think are a lot of fun. I, d I don't have any in my house. I don't really know why, but I don't. Um, and I think they're fun and, and I should probably put one in my house somewhere, but the one I saw <laughs> really spoke to me. It said, I am not a princess who needs saving. I am a queen and I can do this myself. So I thought that was pretty apropos. Just put her down because we know we want her here. I'm trying out a new glue stick. I have Craft Bond from Elmer's, so I'm trying that one. Lots of people use um, Yoohoo sticks, but you have to um, order those. I, I was I've been trying to buy one in person, and you need you have to order them and. They're kind of expensive to order, you know, one at a time. If you know you're going to like it, you can order a box, which, of, of course, is a lot cheaper per glue stick, like like pretty much everything. If you order a whole box of it, it tends to be less per each. So I haven't ordered it because I don't want a whole box, and I really just wanted one to try. Um, so I'm trying this one. Uh, Lock and Bar picked it up for me. And I've, I've worked through all my old ones. I think I mentioned that last time. I don't know if that was last week on the Motivational Monday video, if it was on the Wednesday video. I think it was Monday's video. But I was trying to work through all of those old glue sticks. So I have done that. And this is the only one I have now. Let's see, kind of audition wear. Oh, see, that's good. That'll leave a good space for this. And see, that's really pretty with that. Look how that's looking. Oh, and it's already dry. Look at that. All right, that'll be good. Well, maybe not quite. <laughs> Stuck my thumb in just a tiny little bit. Okay. All right. Um, so I'm, 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 I'm auditioning this one. And I like it so far. I'm not sure it's any better than just plain old Elmer's. So it says craft bond like it was going to be better. But I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure it really is. Maybe maybe in the long run it says permanent bond as opposed to the others. But it's and the the Elmers are, are pretty good. Um, but I would like something that's maybe just a little better. I don't know. Um so if I can't find a Yoohoo one, the next one on my list to try is the Scotch Create. So I've seen several, several people on YouTube using that one as well. This is coming up from. I've had it sitting in a bin for a while and it's gotten knocked around a little bit. So sometimes when it gets knocked around, I have to re glue it. Um, so, you know, I don't know. It's it's kind of hard to, to find a glue stick you know, that you really love. It's, I know it's kind of silly. It's like a glue stick. Yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> seems like it wouldn't be a big deal, but it is. Okay, I think I'm just gonna sit one there so we can kind of see. Well, we know that that pink, so we're gonna pull the pink. We're gonna pull some pink here and some pink here, so we're gonna have some pink here. I was going through um, my my uh, flower stash, and uh, I have a lot more pink than I do yellow, and I'll show you what I have, and we can kind of decide what we want. So. I like this because it has some green on it, so that's good. That would pull some green over here. So maybe we want to do some background in one color and then put some of this on top. So that one might be a top piece because the green. I have these. I have a couple of those. Those are very large. That would take up almost all the page. Maybe. That one's a nice size. Here's another one. It's got this one has just a little bit of yellow in it. Different shades of pink. The the shape is kind of like this water lily over here. And then there's these that have the yellow in them. 
like that. Mm, I, don't, I don't really care for those, I don't think. I don't really think I want the roses. I don't think I want those because they're winter. They've got winter on them. Here's a vase. That's nice, but we could, you know, we could always cut it off. It looks like, I wonder if that's what this is. <laughs> it is. It's just I cut the I cut the vase off. So we've got a couple of those. Again, snow. This is kind of cool. It almost looks like a butterfly wing, but because of the way I cut it out, it would be a good corner piece maybe. So let's see what we have in yellow. I didn't have nearly as much yellow. Not nearly as much. Um, but this is kind of covered, so we don't maybe have to cover every inch of that. We could leave some of that. That's pretty. Here's one that we could cut the vase off of or put underneath. Mm, I'm not loving that. It feels kind of fall with the sunflower on it. This one feels very springy. This one's kind of wintry. There really wasn't any way to fussy cut around this um, because of the way the flowers are. So I feel like it's it's kind of, you know, got that background. This is fun. This is a salad. And it's got flowers in it. They're edible flowers. I think edible flowers kind of sounds nice. I mean, I know there are lots of flowers you can eat. Uh, I'm not sure I've really eaten a flower. I mean, you know, I've eaten things that have lavender in it and things like that. But, oh, you know, I take that back. I've eaten a dandelion. Hmm, maybe not that one. When I was in high school, my biology teacher, Mr. Birchfield, he was probably my favorite teacher of all time, um, would take the class on nature walks. We had to do this big project, this wildflower project that we that every we did every year. And everybody did it, and we collected all these wildflowers and identified them and all of that. Anyway, he would take the class on a nature walk and your parents would come, you know, and for the it would be like on a Saturday or something. And we'd go hiking through the through the woods and he would, you know, point out flowers and we would, you know, press them and identify them and things like that. So he was super cool. He was like the coolest, um, the coolest biology teacher ever. Um anyway, he would he would eat the dandelions. And, and he would challenge us to eat them, too. And so we did. So I've, I've eaten a dandelion, I guess. Um, not sure, really. I've, I've seen edible flowers, but I've never eaten them. So this is kind of cool with the, the pink. We still get to see this, and I like that because I, even though it's not a flower, I like that it takes up some of the background and makes something interesting. I have some smaller things here with the yellow. That might be pretty. So I'm not, like I don't think, I, I don't feel like we have to cover all of this. You, it, it kind of almost looks like flowers, even though it's not. It sort of has that floral look. Those are a little pale, I think. That too. I'm looking for bright. I'm looking for bright springy. That's purpley, but it kind of goes with that because that's kind of purples and yellows. Probably should just start gluing some stuff down, huh? Maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit. I don't know. What are we gonna do with this? Maybe behind. Mm. And that kind of leaves us so we kind of have this thing going on, and then that leaves us something down. We can put something down here for focal point. Could put that. Could move those over. Nope. Oh, what if we put the other flower girl down there? Oh, maybe we need to do that. I think I like this one better down here because I like that it's yellow and pinks together. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking we might have to have another one. Too much, two girls, I don't know. Is it really too much? Maybe we should kind of do her off to the side. Hmm. It she kind of looks like she's reclining in the flower. She's just like part of the flowers. 
I guess we can we might could put another quote up here with it. We did that last time we put kind of a second quote. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to have another another flower girl. Too much is never enough. All right, too much is never ever enough. Okay, so let me see if I can lay these kind of out to the side where they go so I know what order I had them in. <laughs> sort of. Let's see, do we want that? If we want that under, we'll have to put that one down first. Let me grab my catalog here. So we can apply some glue. Getting a little crazy with that glue. Hope you guys are enjoying. Sorry, stuck it to it. Oh my gosh. Hope you guys are enjoying Motivational Monday. I really enjoy filming it. So, grab my rag. Apparently, I've got my glue on here. I enjoy filming it and it kind of holds me accountable every week for for doing something in my in my quote book which I really enjoy doing um, but you know sometimes you put off what we want to do like the quote book for things in favor of what we have to do like laundry <laughs> things like that my catalog's just falling apart. It's probably good. Um, so I feel like, you know, coming in and, and spending it with you guys helps me, helps me, because I get to, because I get to do this every week with you. And then I get to do it myself too, and it's a good day to, it's a good way to start the week. I had originally thought that I would um, shoot these videos on Monday, or on Sunday, and post them on Monday. And I thought, but that, it, it didn't feel right to me. I did that the first time or so, um, trying to get them up on, on Monday. And I thought, this is silly. It's Motivational Monday. <laughs> and it's supposed to be my Motivational Monday, too. Let's see, did I have that on top of? That was there. That on top of that one or under? Hmm. I think it was on top of that one and under this one. Um, you know, so it helps me start the week off right as well. So, you know, I'm shooting them a week in advance, which is really not too far in advance. I really enjoy just kind of doing glue book collage things with a quote for a basis. Um, I just think it's fun. Is that about where that goes? And that one covers up that bottom part. I'm, you know, I spend a lot of time making things and make lots of things and, and sometimes the simple things, like the glue book, the quote, mass making something small um, that I'm just gonna, you know, restock in my in my cabinet so that I have it. Um, I can let a, oops, that doesn't move. Okay. Um, those things seem to be, you know, this sometimes the simple ones are the ones that seem like they're the best. I'll just move that down a little bit, maybe. There we go. Can always trim the edge off, or that's not much, we could leave it. Always trim it off, let's see. This one was here. And then I think we had her across here. We could, since we're gonna put her in, we could put a bigger one here. A couple of them. Yes, no. Let's 
see, is that better? Oh, see, I kind of like that. It kind of makes it look like she has like a, a crown and aura. Oh, oh, you know. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. And this kind of covers that hole there. Yeah, we're not covering everything, and it's okay. You don't have to cover everything. Or you can. Um, these are almost all magazine images that I cut, uh, cut out of magazines, so they're a little flimsy. Keep tearing them a little bit because I'm getting a little rough with that glue stick, I think. A little aggressive with the glue. See, that's fun. So that makes it look like it's kind of shining out around here. And we still have some of this showing that paper that we printed. And I kind of like her sort of just angled out here because, I mean, we could put her up here, I guess. We put her there. We'd still have to put something else down here. Do we have something that goes down there? Like, would we rather? Oh, I don't know. See, now I'm starting to overthink it. Don't overthink it. We put a vase of flowers down there. No, I don't like that. That one's kind of pretty. Those are kind of pretty. The snow, even though I said I didn't want anything with snow. I guess they're kind of springy because they're blooming even though it's snowing. Maybe. I'm trying to decide if it's gonna make a trio with these or if we want. I don't know, I, I liked her, let's see, laying down across the page or Standing up with another flower here. Hmm. Okay, I like her laying across the page. It's silly, but I don't care. That's where I like her. So let's put some glue on her and stick her down before I overthink it some more. You know, trying not to overthink things. Trying to just let it come together. This is just something for fun. It's something I do so I can contemplate that quote, which again is don't wait for someone to bring you flowers. Plant your own garden. Right? So maybe she's reclining, waiting for flowers. I don't know. And then, then maybe the fairy godmother over here is going to whack us with that wand. Is, Going to make her own garden. <laughs> Although the look on her face says she's not really waiting for anything. <laughs> it's like, uh, no. Stick a little more glue on here. Okay, so I really love that riot of color. This, this looks a little blank back here, but maybe that's okay. Maybe we should slide in one more flower. Should we slide in one more? Maybe a rose for good measure. Mm, yeah. Maybe one more, right? Always can do one more. Too much is never enough. I think one of these weeks we're gonna have to do a bunch of bling stuff. You know, there's no such thing as too much bling. Of course, this has some bling on it, so that's good. Okay, and we've got a little bit sticking out, and I'm not sure I'm gonna trim that. I think I might just leave it, so. All right, that looks good. So let's go back to our cards here. They seem nice and dry. Aren't those pretty? Look at that, all kind of all run together. Oh, I love that metallic sheen and the color. Lovely. This one looks like it might be slightly damp on the edges. It's 
see if we can rub that out a little. Okay, so we just need to write the quote and then attach it with a brad. We'll punch a hole, so let's move the book for a second. Let's get our quote back here. Don't wait for someone to bring you flowers, plant your own garden. And so I think that's gonna fit th on three easily. I wonder if we should punch the hole and put the brad in so we can see where it's gonna turn so we know where to write. Maybe that's a good idea. Which one do we want on top? I like this one. Okay, normally I would use my crop dial, but I don't want to get up and get it, so I'm just going to goodness. Okay. Uh, I guess we better figure out where the hole goes before we put the bread in. I don't know. We can take the bread back out. See, making up, changing my mind. I just want to put the bread in so I can see where to write. Let's, let's get that in. That's going to be on the page behind. All right. So when we look at it, it's going to be this way up. So I think we want, don't wait for someone, and then we'll turn it, we can turn it here to bring you flowers, and we can turn it down here, plant your own garden. Okay. All right. I think we're just going to use the black because I think that's going to show up better. Could put some little flowers on there maybe to decorate these up a little bit. Don't wait for someone. To bring you flowers. I guess we could have put a semicolon there. Plant your own garden, so we'll put plant your own garden. All right, let's go ahead and put those in, and then I think we'll decorate the cards a little bit, um, but let's get them in and see how they turn before we before we decorate too much. Let's see where we're gonna want that. Um, we want the cards there, down a little bit. Put them down here, we might be able to put something else up here. So let's say, let's say there. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is why you need your crop dial. All right, I wasn't gonna get it, but apparently I am. So, okay. Let's see if we can line that up. All right. I just said I didn't need the crop dial, but apparently I did. Didn't even think about not being able to reach it from, from there. I just punched a small hole, but that's okay. And then next week, we can actually 
cover this up a little bit and we won't even see this. We can put something over it and that'll just hold them in place. Right. We could actually probably put a little washi tape over it so it doesn't so it doesn't move around. Because it does feel like it's gonna try to move on us. Uh, let's put a little piece of washi tape just to hold it in place and then next week we'll either cover up the washi tape or we will incorporate it into whatever it is we're doing probably just cover it up it kind of just blends right okay all right so now we have don't wait for someone to bring you flowers plant your own garden that's cool i like that all right, now we need to decorate these a little bit. We could put something pretty flat on them as long as there's nothing sticking way up, we're okay. We could put some more flowers up there. I wonder if we want some of the flowers we didn't have. This seems a little big, although we could... I don't need that vase. Certainly don't need the vase. That just kind of makes it. So then, see, then we have a kind of a group of three, which gives it a little more um, visual feeling, visual interest. When you only have two things, we, we see the empty space. Um, our eye goes to the empty space instead of the two things that are there. The eye wants to see things that are asymmetric, so we want odd numbers of things if we can get them. You don't always have to have them. It's not, you know, it depends on what you have and how big things are. Um, and then this kind of talks to this, so that, maybe that's a good choice. Let's audition a couple other things. I keep coming back to these things with snow on them. No, I don't like that one. Too big. Because we could put something down there. Nope, I don't like that one. I like this one, I think. I like the shape of it. I'm going to let it peek off the page a little bit here. All right, let's put some glue on that. Get that down. page a little and then I'm thinking just some small little flowers here on each of the cards I don't think I pulled anything small um, I have put some little washi tape let me grab some stickers So I've been slowly reorganizing my supplies and I have put things, I, I went through my flower bin and I organized them by color. So I have these plastic envelopes now and I am loving it. It is so helpful. Let's see what kind of stickers we might have. A lot of these are kind of dimensional, but we can take them off the back just use the, the front part. These are kind of dreamy. Um, liking all that pink. There's some pink and yellow together. Those might be nice. They kind of echo this. Let's try some of those. So we don't want anything that sticks up because, of course, this is uh, this has to be able to move. So it needs to be pretty flat. And apparently I am unable to find the top. There we go. Um, but even though these are dimensional, we can just we can just take them off. So see, you can see how there's like a little piece of foam between 
to make them stick up further. We can just take the foam out. The one on top can be dimensional. Um, like this one, that could be dimensional because it's the top, so it doesn't have to slide across anything. So I really like the stickers at Dollar Tree um, because they have really pretty ones and they're inexpensive, but they're not very sticky. So you have to be sure that you use some extra glue to stick them down. Oops, I have a cat hair, oh my gosh. Okay, so that's cute. And we could put one here from the same little grouping, but we can take off, we can take off the dimensional part so that it's flat. Let's see, is that gonna slide over the top? It's still a little, a little dimensional there. Yep, I think that would slide. We can still save the others and use them somewhere else. Just want to get it pressed down good. And then the last one. Let's see. This one. Looks like it's already pretty flat. And I like that it has the butterfly, so it kind of looks like a background piece already. Might be too big. I have to cut off the butterfly. Yeah, I think we have to cut the butterfly off. glue on there. Okay. All right. So I think we can call this one done. I love this. Don't wait for someone to bring you flowers. Plant your own garden. Oops. See, now there's the trouble. Let's try it again. See if I can see if I can get it to slide right. Don't wait for someone to bring you flowers. Plant your own garden. There we go, just gotta get it stuck down good. Oh, I wonder, oh, I guess we could stick that bottom one down. See, I, I say we're done and then maybe we're not. <laughs> if I stick the bottom one down, it might make it easier for the others to move better. Right, because it's not going to move. Uh -huh. I haven't done this before, so I, this is kind of a, an experiment, but I like it. I like how it looks. I like the way it works. Right? All right, now I think we can call it done. And I'm loving her over here. I'm loving that we put two of these little, you know, women in here with their, with their flowers and their bouquets, so she looks like maybe maybe she's waiting and maybe she's just gonna whack us all with that flower wand and we're gonna plant our own garden. <laughs> anyway, I hope you had a good time. If you found some value here today, please like and subscribe. If there's something, a quote that you'd like me to do, please comment below. I, I'm happy to uh, take suggestions. I'd really love to talk to you about it. Um, if there's something you'd like to see me do, I'm, I'm really excited to do these things. So, you know, I hope you'll come along for the ride and I, I hope you'll subscribe, um, hit the, hit the bell so that you get notifications. I post new videos three times a week, Monday, yeah, motivational Mondays, Wednesday, uh, is some kind of craft project, usually with some sort of upcycling, but not always. And then Saturday right now I am doing a very large mixed media piece uh, for my own home and for specifically at my husband's request. 
And so I am working on that on camera on and those videos post every Saturday. So again, thank you for joining me. I really appreciate you. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you taking the time to hang out with me. Um, this is great. This is a great fun and, and I really enjoy it and I enjoy being with you. Uh, so remember, until next time, use what you have to make your life more beautiful. Bye.